Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the exchange card and this is about having a lot of communications, uh, you know, a lot of collaborations, a lot of networking going on over there. So you're meeting a lot of people, uh, you're giving them something that's very interesting uh, and, you know, there's lots of exchange going on over there. Uh, so you're working, you know, you might be, uh, you know, speaking to a lot of people on the internet as well. So. Um, uh, a lot of uh, networking going on over there. Now, it seems like you've had a run-in with somebody over there. There was, uh, you know, a lot of arguments going on over there. So you could have had some kind of person that you've clashed, um, you know, uh, with on the work front. Uh, they seem to have, uh, you know, um, almost treated you like a child, really. Uh, so it seems like somebody has been um, having a go at you and uh, reprimanding you in a certain way. And this has caused a lot of anger and a lot of upset on your part, uh, it seems. Um, now you've got the versatility card over here. So there's some kind of option that you have, uh, some kind of decision you have to make. You're weighing your pros and cons quite carefully over there and you're hoping one of them is going to open the doors for you. So you're looking at everything and maybe this is, uh, you know, you want to move forward and uh, you have two projects in mind and you're deciding which one you want to actually focus on. Now in the past you've got the consummation card over there and you've got the uh, Argonaut. So the consummation card is about uh, success coming your way over there, achieving your goals, uh, making your thoughts into reality really and you know bringing it out, uh, putting it out there um, and you know uh, being um, you know, successfully completing projects as well. And you've got the Argonauts, so whatever you've been doing has been pretty groundbreaking. Uh, you know, you're almost like a pioneer in whatever it is you're doing at this particular moment. So whatever ideas you had, you've been putting it down, you've been uh, manifesting it, and it's uh, it's causing a stir over there because, it, you know, it's something very, very different. There might be people that you're dealing around uh, with around you that might not be up to scratch. <laughs> uh, well, they're not, they might not be uh, very supportive of whatever your work is, but it's definitely different. Uh, they might be, you know, the, you've got this hidden enemies kind of um, crocodiles in the background over there. They might be talking a lot or trying to, uh, to uh, stir up a, a lot of problems, uh, but it seems like whatever it is, you're still overcoming them. Uh, and you've even got this little, you know, snake as well in the water there. So a lot of hidden enemies, people not quite supportive of your ideas. Maybe, you know, new things always scare people. Uh, but, uh, you know, you need to just press on uh, because it seems like whatever you're doing is going to bring, bring in a lot of change. But it's also going to bring in a lot of people, a lot of uh, um, collaboration, a lot of uh, people recognizing your skills and coming to you for some kind of advice or whatever information you have to give them, uh, a lot of people coming in uh, to get that. Now, going to the future, you've got the Renaissance. So you are reviving something there, uh, bringing back the old and bringing it back with a twist, really. And you can see there's a, a lot of uh, communication going on over there. But there's this particular project might even mean that you, uh, you, know, you do a lot of travel. There's a lot of fruits coming from this because you've got this uh, palm tree there with the dates over there. So, you know, whatever is coming, whatever you're putting into this particular project and reviving it uh, and, you know, bringing it back in as something new is going to produce a lot of abundance. And you can see this domesticity card over here. And this is a lot of success coming in after facing a lot of challenges. You've got the scarab beetle over there, which signifies a lot of money. You've got this uh, deer over there, and uh, it looks like, uh, you know, this is showing, it's a very healthy animal, so it's showing a lot of abundance and a lot of growth coming in for you over there. So there's a lot of success that will be coming in uh, from whatever you're doing, and you are reviving something as well. Uh, and, you, you know, you're going to be pretty busy. Uh, so there's some kind of choice that you have to make about what you want to do and where you want to focus, uh, and that will, it seems like it's going to be opening a lot of doors for you there, and the doors to success as well. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the uh, Book of Shadows tarot for the main read.
So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the strength card over there. So whatever you're doing at the moment, whatever obstacles you're facing, uh, you know, it might be a, a slow, hard grind and you might be facing a lot of challenges over there, but you need to hang in. So you just need to have resilience. You need to, you know, go for it. Uh, what, you know, put all your strength and energy into it and just, uh, you know, live it moment by moment, day by day. Take one thing at a time and don't get yourself overwhelmed. So you need to focus and you need to put all your energy and strength into this particular project and uh, be positive. Uh, make plans for the future as opposed to looking at what you've left behind and what has you have lost. So that's very, very important for you to hang in there. So you are being faced with some kind of decision over there. You are weighing options as well. So the energy cards showed that there's some kind of big decision that you have to make. Now, her eyes are closed over here, so she's trying to make a decision. Uh, she needs to go through the, pro the pros and cons and detach yourself from the outcome of whatever it is that you're dealing with. There's some information that has not been revealed. You need to do some research and find out what it is. You are getting to that point where you're getting to financial independence, and you will get money coming in. So if you're worried about that, it looks like uh, soon, lots of money will come your way um, and you can have people that are going to be helping you out as well you've got these little gnomes over there uh, so this is going to give you some financial independence and it's going to generate a lot of finances uh, a lot of money so there's some kind of decision that has to be made this could be even a legal decision um, this is could be even resolving issues uh, you know a truce being um, uh, coming to a truce with somebody that you're having some kind of problems with as well with that two of swords um, but it looks like money is going to be coming your way with that uh, nine of pentacles and a lot of it as well. Now, it looks like whatever problems you've been going through uh, has been caused by people around you, maybe people quite jealous and being very vindictive, and there's been a lot of conflict that you've been facing as well. Now, it seems like whatever success you've been going through or whatever achievements you have, people are pretty jealous of it, and this is the reason why they have been causing a lot of problems, uh, because, you know, they don't want to give you glory, and uh, they are pretty uh, upset that you have attained all the things that you have attained. And, you know, you've got that five of cups. So you are also very, very upset and disappointed. And you're still thinking about a lot of the loss that you had in the past. You're still crying about it. it. It seems that you're spending a lot of time by yourself. You might still be doing a lot of study as well. But it looks like, you know, um, you're very upset and very emotional at this particular moment. So you've got some bright new idea coming in over there with that Ace of Swords and you want to make things happen and it looks like you also want to sever ties with the past. So if you have uh, you know, moved on from an old job or you've an old situation, it looks like you want to cut things. Uh, you may be even unhappy in this present job that you're doing and might be, you might be thinking of actually moving on and doing something else. You've got this new idea in your head and you maybe want to bring that into fruition. So it looks like there's an offer coming in over there and this might be an offer for further study or or, you know, uh, further improvement of your skill set. But this could be just a really good offer that comes in that you've been waiting for and that gives you that emotional satisfaction that you've been waiting for, making up for any kind of loss or any kind of upset that you've been going through. So this new offer comes in for you with that Ace of Cups. So you've been going re uh, going through this tower moment. So whatever you had, you may have lost your job, and maybe this is the tower moment that you're going through at this particular moment. So this is what's happening with you right now. Whatever you had established seems to have broken down uh, and, you know, you have you are very, very upset. You're trying to deal with those energies right now. But it looks like, you know, this new offer that comes in for you there is going to be able to generate finances for you. And you've got some really good ideas over there. So it looks like you may need to make some kind of decision to move on from uh, this old job uh, because there has been, there's been a lot of drama that has happened. Uh, like I said, you could have lost this job or you could have even lost your reputation. Uh, you know, with the tower, it's about loss. It's about destructuring of something that was established. Uh, you know, and it was very, very unexpected. So you've got that Nine of Cups. So this is an excellent card to have. So although you've been through all of these problems, you just need to hang in there with that Strength card because all your wishes will be fulfilled with this Nine of Cups. And this is a celebration. So something you're going to be working on is going to be absolutely successful. And you're going to have a lot of people that are supporting you as well. There's a celebration of something coming in over there and an achievement coming in. So whatever it is with that this Ace of Cups brings, it definitely comes in with that Nine of Cups because they're sitting next together next to each other uh, or sitting together really and uh, it looks like it's going to be very successful and it's what you've been waiting for as well 
So try and get out of that energy of that tower. Uh, you know, try not, uh, you know, it seems like you're very shocked at what had happened. Um, but you need to get out of that energy and move forward. So what you want is to end any kind of difficult situation and problems that you are going through and maybe even end this job that you're doing right now and move forward. The Ten of uh, Chalices is hoping that all these problems that you've been facing come to an end. And even, you know, getting uh, sh um, away from all those difficult people that have been causing those problems for you. Now you've got the Nine of Swords, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups into the future, and the final outcome. So the Nine of Pentacles being very stressed out, expecting the worst case scenario, uh, you know, being very anxious as well, and not sleeping at night, uh, you know, staying awake. And maybe being worried about somebody that's giving you a lot of uh, a hard time. You've got this huge, big, uh, I think it's a buzzard over there. And it looks like it's going to be, you know, it's it's um, putting a lot of pressure on you. So there might be somebody in your arena that is causing a lot of stress for you. And saying things and doing things and maybe um, ex making expectations of you. And this is causing that stress and anxiety. You just need to keep working. You've got that Knight of Pentacles. You are working pretty hard. You're very organized, very practical, and you just need to keep going. Uh, things will come for you, if not as quickly as you hoped, but definitely they will come. You've got these fruit on the vine over there. Um, they look like tomatoes. Uh, so it looks like things are going to come uh, your way, and you just need to keep going. And like that strength card says here, just keep looking forward. Keep your eyes forward and keep working, focusing on your work. And you've got that six of cups over here. So, uh, you know, it looks like um, there is some happiness coming in over here. You might get some kind of offer coming in um, because the six of cups is about an offer being given to you. And you may have worked with this person before or it might be somebody from the past that emerges uh, that, pr you know, presents an offer for you. Um, and there's the offer coming in over there. And it looks like it's going to be something really good. Uh, and it's going to bring in all those wishes that you, you know, everything that you've wished for is within this job. So somebody emerging from the past over there. You might even be working with children. But this is uh, usually about, uh, you know, an offer coming in. Uh, so try not to dwell on the past too much. Um, move forward. Don't uh, allow yourself to be depressed or get into that, uh, you know, um, don't allow yourself to get into such a state that you can't get yourself out of that rut. Uh, so it's time for you to kick that um, depression out uh, and, uh, you know, think positively, be positive. And, and, you know, this whatever this tower moment is, it's already gone. And, you know, dealing with that energy, be positive and you'll be able to, um, to manifest everything that you want. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the... Um, fairy tarot and uh, you've got the moon card over here and so this is about feeling very depressed and it's let go of worry and fear understanding the truth of the situation the truth looks like it's going to come to light over here with that moon card so whatever deception uh, is around it looks like things will start revealing themselves so try and get yourself out of that uh, depressed energy and move forward now the chariot card says you need to take control of that situation and success that comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your your accomplishments and being in the spotlight so a lot of success is on its way to you so get out of that negative thinking and be positive take control uh, be a force to be reckoned with that's very important and uh, you will be uh, rewarded for it you're also going to be in the spotlight so a lot of success coming uh, to you and a lot of people recognizing your gifts and talents and then you've got the hermit card over here so find or be a mentor take a break from society a commitment to spiritual growth so this is about focusing on your work and uh, you know giving it your best shot and it looks like you'll be giving out uh, valuable information to people and uh, you know they're going to be taking note of whatever you've got to say this is also about maybe doing a lot more research and a lot more studying and becoming uh, very good at your craft uh, so that you know nobody can question you because the hermit is about becoming an expert at what you're doing and you know a lot of people will be coming to you for advice and uh, coming to you for uh, to help them solve whatever problems they have so whatever you're doing right now whatever you're focusing on looks like it is going to generate that money with that uh, nine of pentacles and it is going to be pretty successful and it looks like there is some kind of offer coming in but you are getting that nine of cups uh wish fulfillment coming in as well a lot of satisfaction coming in as well so i hope that this reading has resonated with you and um 
Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.